here we have to navigate to our writing page. So the writing page is going to be provided in the starter code. So what you need to do, you just need to come to your app.js. In your app.js, you need to create a new screen and hook it up here. Okay, that's what you need to do. After you hook it up, then you're going to use this name to navigate to the page. So let's go back. Let's close this for a second. So here we're navigating to the page. And one other thing to take note, you might run into a little bit of a glitch. So, you know, add writing page, we have this reusable header. This reusable header is also going to be provided with this data code and you can find it in components here, right? So that's going to be the additions. So if you click, you're supposed to be taken to this page and see how this image is square and this image is square. So what you need to do, you need to correct one thing, and that's the border radius. Okay, so if we come to our add to, so here, if we take a look at our asset, here, our spelling is wrong of radius. So it's either you correct that spelling or you just change this spelling, okay? And then you save. So changing this spelling is okay because you won't go ahead you won't get to go inside the application and change all the occurrence of this radius if you've used the asset image before okay so that's the first and we need to open this reusable header and we need to do the same here and then we save so we have our image rating then submit okay so we're done with this part. We want to work right underneath here. So right underneath, we're going to take care of several things. And most of the stuff, they're going to be coming from, from our hook. In our hook folder, we have a file with the name Google API, API services. So we're going to be using our API services to to get the calculations that we need. Okay. So we're going to use this function to calculate distance time and uh, this distance time and price. Okay. And you need the same API key that we've used before. The one that we put in our app.j, app is it app.json? Yes. The one that we have in our app.json, you need to just come here copy the api key and then you come here and you paste it here okay so those are the steps that you need to follow in order for us to go ahead and calculate distance distance and time so let's go ahead and start working in this particular space the empty space okay we've mentioned where our function is going to come from so uh, probably we're going to mention it again in a little bit but we're going to start with the design first and then we can just go ahead and have our